Hello everyone and welcome to another Sega Mega Drive and Genesis game dev tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to set the foreground or background tiles as different priorities to enable a little bit of a 3D effect where our characters that would appear in front of some of the scenery but behind others. You can see that effect quite clearly here in the World of Illusion game where Mickey and Donald they have there's one layer in the middle a background layer where sometimes they appear on top of it and sometimes the trees appear in front of the characters so they disappear under or even this little bit that Donald crawls under too. Of course in this particular scene in addition to the different tile priority layers of the one of the background layers there's also some tile scrolling going on so it almost looks like there's three or four layers depending on how you look at it but that's a bit beyond the scope of today's lesson. Today's lesson we're going to focus on how to create a little bit of a 3D effect by using the tile priorities of the foreground or background. I managed to find a rip of this particular level online that we can use and from this uh, graphic I managed to create a simplified tile set. That tile set uses two different palettes, the, most of the trees in the ground is one palette and the mushroom is another palette, is a second palette. And I detailed how to do this in the previous lesson so be sure to rewatch that one if you don't remember how to do it. After that I used the tile set to create a little map, a level map in 16 tile. You can see here the how the different palettes are allocated. Now today we're going to cover priority so if you click the P button on the left here this is where we're going to open the option to set the priority and all you have to do is anything you want to have high priority you just select it the P and then simply paste it so you can see that now the parts that's going to be higher priority have been highlighted they're a brighter color. Whereas normally all these sprites appear in front of the foreground or background, if we set these as high priority it means that the stuff we set as high priority, those tiles are going to be appear in front of the sprite. It's that that's going to create the 3D effect that we want. So if we export all the, the uh, map we just created, again like last time is going to give us the palette and also the tile set and the level map too and we simply import those into SGDK just as we did in the previous lesson. So be sure to go back and watch that one again if you think I'm going a bit too fast here. Because the files for the tile set and the palette that we created for this World of Illusion background are the same as the other one as when we did the previous lesson, the uh, Beyond Oasis, we don't have to change the file name there, we just have to change the file name of the actual map we're going to use, the I call it the WOI, World of Illusion Foreground.png. And I've also got this Mickey sprite too because I think we should give Link a little rest so I've imported this Mickey sprite so change the Link sprite.png with Mickey sprite.png and of course the Mickey sprite the size of it is different too, it's a bigger sprite so we count it so it's four across, four tiles across and six in height so make sure you change that. Back in main.c also don't forget to change the player width and player height variables because obviously that's changed too so change that to 32 and 48. And with that done we should pretty much be ready to compile so I'm just going to show you this little part here this tile extra and then the open bracket so this is where we set the palette for the sprite for the mickey sprite and also for the you see the second parameter in here is the priority and we set those true or false. So as long as we set that as false, we're going to set it as uh, low priority, then it will appear behind that tree trunk that we set as high priority. So let's um, save and compile and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the moment of truth where we know whether we've done it correctly or not. And I think I've forgotten to change the map size in main.c. So that's why we're seeing this repeated uh, map here. But this is what we're really looking for. And great so Mickey is now it, it's just one single background layer but he's appearing behind the tree not in front so while we're here let's just change the map height and map width and uh, once we do that hopefully we won't get that little problem where we've got the bottom kind of showing and it's scrolling around and if I now save and recompile when we open up the ROM again that problem should be fixed and it has been so 
That's great. Let's head to the right again just to make sure that the priority tiles are still working as they should. So excellent. Even without the additional uh, background layer here with the tile scrolling I think you still get a bit of a 3D effect so on its own it's already very good but especially when combined with tile scrolling it looks even better you get even more this feeling of multiple layers. Back in main.c let's change the priority of Mickey's sprite to true so not only is that tree chunk going to be higher priority but Mickey's sprite is going to be higher priority too. Now if we move Mickey to the right we see that he appears in front of both the tiles in that background layer which has high priority and low priority that's because normally sprites appear in front of the background and they only appear behind any background tiles if the sprites are low priority and those background tiles are high priority if i then change the uh, priority of the sprite back to force back to low priority then we should have it how we had it before so mickey's appearing behind those high priority foreground uh, tiles in the video description I'll include the Mickey sprite as well as the tiles that I created for this and also the original rip of the graphics so if you want to try it maybe to put the background in you can have a go at that if you want it could be a challenge for you if you do so then make sure you change the map we created to bg underscore a so it becomes the foreground then you can put the background behind it so that we haven't covered tile scrolling yet but you can just try regular parallax scrolling maybe and it'll look okay so as you can see here even after we change to the foreground it doesn't make much of a difference to our little rom here so that's pretty much it when it comes to setting different background tiles as either high or low priority as you can see is a very effective technique to giving your um, levels a bit of depth especially when using combination with another layer with tile scrolling and so on and it's great that Yuri's tool, the 16 tile tool, makes it so easy to implement. So the hard part is not the implementation, the difficult part is to use your creativity and really think about how you can use the uh, tile priorities and different kinds of scrolling combination to create the kind of level you, you want, the kind of 3D effect, the depth, the multiple layers that you want to have. Okay, so I think that just about wraps things up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this kind of content, then please subscribe to the channel. I'm interested in this. And if you want to support the channel further, I have a Patreon account. You won't go unrewarded. And until next time. Farewell.